Hi and welcome to lesson 14.3. We're working on the guided practice and we're comparing rational numbers. So the first one is obviously number one and what we have is the square root of three plus two and then the square root of three plus three. Well I don't know what the square root of three is but if you add two to it it's not going to be as much as adding three to it. So I believe that the right one would be the answer. Yeah, it's open to the right. Okay, so now this one's not going to be as obvious. The square root of 8 plus 17 versus the square root of 11 plus 15. Well, when you, when you look at the square root of 8, if you were to approximate that, that's, uh, I don't know, it's like almost 3. So let's just call it 2.9 then. Eh? like somewhere around 2.9. And then the square root of 11, well, it's going to be 3. It's going to be between 3 and 4. Let's call it 3.2, something like that. So if you add 3 to 17, in both cases, you're adding about 3. So they're kind of staying the same distance apart. And I'm going to say the left one is bigger. Yeah. Um, for this one, the square root of 6 plus 5 versus 6 plus the square root of 5. Well, 6 is bigger than 5. And the square root of 6 and the square root of 5, that's going to be pretty close to each other. So I'm going to say this one's bigger because it starts off bigger. And um, here you go. Now, for this one, the square root of 9 is 3. So this is 3 plus 3, which is 12. And 9 is 9. The square root of 3 is like 1 point something. So this is like 10.2 or something like that. So the left side is going to be bigger. We have open to the right. Okay, so this next one, square root of 13, 17 minus 3. The square root of 17 is a little bit more than 4. Because the square root of 16 is 4. So I'm going to call that about 4.1 minus 3. So that's positive. Right? This is just a positive number. I don't even know. It's 0 0.9. But, and then this is negative 2 plus the square root of 5 is um, like 2.1. Something like that. 2.1. So this is, this is just barely more than that. And this is a little bit more, so I'm calling it uh, to open to the left. Okay, so this one, 12 minus square root of 2. I think that's like 1.14, something like that. So this is um, 12 minus 1.14 would be 10 point, I don't know, uh, 1486, 10.86, something like that. And then 14, my, the square root of 8, the square root of 8 should be, boy, it's like 2 point, almost, almost 3, right? So let's call it 2.8. It's 14 minus uh, 3 is 11. So I think it's going to be open to the right. <clears throat> so let's see, open to the right. Let's see. Yeah. And then... For this one, square root of 7 plus 2, that's, boy, that's right in between 4 and 9. Uh, so that's in between, what, 2 and 3. So like 2.5. So this would be like uh, about 4.5. So probably 0.5. Square root of 10, well, that's going to be like more than 3. So that's like 3.1 minus 1, so that would be 2.1. Um, I would say definitely the left-hand side. That one's an easy money right there. And the square root of 17, I know the square root of 16 is 4, so that's about, I don't know, call it 4.1 plus 3. That would be 7.1. And this is um, 3 plus... I don't know, that's like 3.2. So that one's pretty easy, it's open to the left. 
and let's see now what we have is the order the square root of 3 and 2 times pi and 1.5 from least to greatest then graph them on the number line the square root of 3 is in between 1 and 2 so yeah oh okay they're even getting more specific 1.7 1.8 but I was gonna say 1 and 2 and so the square root of 3 is about uh, 1.75 fair enough um, so the uh, pi and I you might be wondering like how would you get that <laughs> the only way I can think about getting that specific is using a calculator and you hit that little square root button in the 3 and you should get about 1.75 and then pi as we should know is 3.14 so 2 times pi is 2 times 3.14 which is 6.28 and then we have we have the 1.5 so it looks like 1.5 is smallest and then the square root of 3 is the middle one and 2 times pi is the biggest and this is what we got on a number line that's where those different numbers belong I'll make it bigger I don't know why I didn't make it bigger earlier okay so from least to greatest the numbers are and we can visually see this right the square root of 3 uh, I'm sorry, 1.5 square root of 3 and 2 times pi. There. And, oops. Uh-oh. Now, we have four people found the perimeter of a forest using different methods. The results are given in the table. Order the calculations from least to greatest. And we have let's see 2.5 um, I would say that let's do green maybe maybe white uh, or red 5 goes into 12 2 times oh, I better do it here so this obviously is 2.5 and 5 goes into 12 2 times uh, what that's two point I think that's two point four right because that's um yeah and then one plus pi over two half of pi um let's see three point one four divided by two I actually don't know what that is off the top of my head oh what am I doing one two eleven uh, point five uh, that's uh, 1.57 of course so 1 plus 1 1.57 is this is 2.57 and then square root of 17 that's like 4.1 minus 2 which would be 2.1 so what's the smallest the smallest is this one so I'll order them uh, this is number one uh, Number two is Jason. Number three is Ashley. And number four is Mika. That's what I think so far. And let's see uh, how good I did. One plus from greatest to least. <laughs> I went in the opposite direction. But yeah, anyway, uh, what we have is that. Oops. So there you go. Yeah, I think I, so 4, and then 3, yep, and uh, 2 is the 12 over 5, right? And then the 1 is that one right there. So yeah, opposite direction than I said. So how do you order a set of real numbers? Well, this is what you do. Oops. So... Uh, one idea is you can convert each of them to a decimal, which is what I was doing, and you using estimation to find the equivalence for rational numbers. And that's what I was doing, the approximating square roots. A graph each number on the number line, yeah, and we did that earlier, and read the numbers from left to right for the least to greatest. Read the numbers from right to left for the greatest to least. All right, so these are the ideas that you need to know for lesson 14.3, the guided practice on comparing rational numbers. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.